Natural gas provides one third of all the energy consumed in the UK. It is used by industry for cooking and heating in homes and by power stations for the generation of electricity. Currently, half that gas has to be imported and forecast suggests that figure will rise to more than 60% by 2025. One domestic option is shale gas and oil. Deposits are known to exist in the north of England, the Weald Basin in Sussex and Surrey, and the southwest and the central belt of Scotland. Shale gas and oil occur naturally in a layer of impermeable rock around a mile underground. Extracting the gas and oil involves a four-stage process, and at every stage, potential operators must get consents from independent regulators and public consultation must take place. Potential operators in the UK are currently at the first stage, exploration. Once companies have consent, they are allowed to explore supplies at approved sites to find out how much gas and oil could be extracted commercially. A typical exploration site starts with construction of a well pad. It may contain porter cabins for staff living quarters and offices, water and waste storage, and processing facilities. During drilling, there will also be a drilling rig. The entire site is around one to two hectares, the size of one to two football pitches. Operators use the process of hydraulic fracturing also known as fracking, to help the extraction of the gas and oil supplies deep underground. Otherwise, operations are similar to other onshore oil and gas extraction. Well, fracking is a nickname, a shortened name for hydraulic fracturing. What you basically do is drill a hole into the shale, vertical for a while going down, and then it becomes horizontal, far below the surface. and you pump high pressure fluid, a mixture of water and some chemicals, into the shale, cracking the rock. These fractures are opened up by the high pressure. And what you do is you put tiny particles, usually sand, in these holes or these cracks, and that's known as propant. And that sand keeps the cracks open so that the gas flows out of the cracks into the, into the well. But of course, what first comes out isn't generally gas. It's the fluid that you've pumped down the well. Then the, the gas starts coming out. If exploration is successful, operators can then apply to begin the pre-production stage. During pre-production, more wells will be drilled on the same site and more equipment, water and chemicals transferred to and from the site. Operators then apply for the next stage, production. During this stage, the oil is sent to a refinery and the gas can be connected to pipelines or tankered away. The final stage of the process is decommissioning. Operators make the wells safe for abandonment and must restore the site to its original condition.